So, so how did y'all look on defense last week, would you say? Um, last week, I felt like we did pretty good on defense. I feel like we was in the gaps we needed to be in. I feel like we made the plays we should have made. Challenge go up a lot this week. What do you think? I feel like it does most definitely because this a this a ranked opponent. I heard just coming into this game, um, the offensive line coming back more athletic, more depth, bigger. You know, the Kenny Hill has did nothing but get experienced and get better over the years. He's been in college, so I feel like it's gonna be a a, a, a very um, Tough game. You got your first sack against him last year. What do you remember about that? And what can what takeaways can you take? You know, playing him. Last year? Uh, what I can take away from that game is is he he's a good runner. He's a good passer. Um, on a run when he's throwing the ball, he's incredible. So I know um, just getting just getting off the ball, you got to be aware that he can take off at any time. I know, like I had a great feeling with that sack, but I understood how tired I was also in the game. So, so that's what we just we getting to prepare for just tempo, hurry up offense. Coach Rhodes said yesterday, you guys he could tell you were tired at halftime last year in that game. Do you feel like the depth you guys have this year may help you guys out a little bit more against that kind of offense? I feel like it would help us because we went to a three down lineman instead of a four. So I feel like that depth overall on the line is gonna help us be able to when we sub and everything like that. But we were, we were we were tired. We were dead tired last year. They would they would snap the ball when we when we um we weren't ready. They 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 kept they kept getting big chunks of plays. They kept getting twenty yards, thirty yards, forty yards. You would get them to a third down, and then they'll get a twenty yard bust. It was just things that was taken out of you. You know, like that's a, that's a great offense over there at TCU, and we're just trying to get prepared for them. It was a better defense against a hurry up offense, the three four and eight guys standing. Hopefully, man, we, we haven't been able to test it out too much. We was able to test it out against um, FAMU. Uh, we feel like we did pretty good against against them. We feel like we did pretty good against that tempo. Uh, we feel like we was ready at the line, so we're going to see how it works out this week. Keep telling you saw some double teams Thursday. This time, if you get double teams, it's like a 330-pound guard, 340-pound tackle on your side. What are your thoughts on that? Um, just containing my gap because it's, it's gonna, I feel like it's going to come. More than, more than likely, um, when it comes, I just gotta be stout in my gap. Make sure when they, if one of them come off, I, I show back up. If both of them stay on, I don't get pushed back, pushed back 15, 20 yards down the field. Because if you, if you play with high pass in this game, they'll put you back there. Is that something Coach Scott told you before the season that you should expect to see some double teams this year? I, it's most definitely just out of the three, four. You gonna, you gonna get double teams. They like the some. A lot of teams like the double team. That um, four eye technique, four technique, in the, in the three four scheme. So that's something you just gotta be prepared for and, and work on. How did TJ do in his first extensive action for you on the other side? I feel like he did great. I feel like he showed this conference and and everybody else that he can lock up their right side. I feel like not too many plays got outside of him. I feel like the plays he was supposed to make, he was making. How difficult is it when a team has a big offensive lineman like that and they have those little backs and they kind of squirt through the line? I um, mean, it's very hard. Like, if you if you try to be in your gap and then and then show up in someone else's gap, like, you gotta be you gotta be gap disciplined. Like these these cats, these 25, 21, they are they are busted out and be gone for 60 as soon as you can say, like, as soon as you can snap. Like it's quick, so you gotta make sure you're ready for it. He has got an opportunity to play a ranked team on national television. How do you guys approach that and the opportunity that awaits you guys? Uh, we hungry, man. We feel like we should be ranked, so so that's gonna push us to to get to to get everything out of us that we can this week. And it's our first home game, you know, in the stadium. So, well, in first home game in Fayetteville. So we're trying to make sure we put an impact on this on this season. Coach Patterson said that he's, his front line guys only played 20 or 30 snaps and they really kept things kind of simple. Do you expect to see a lot more of their offense, a more wrinkles this week? Yeah, I feel I feel like they haven't even opened up their offense yet. But we got to push them to that. If we don't push them to, to bring out all the big guns and things like that, they'll be able to sit back, settle back, sit down, and just do what they do. You said the tiredness had a lot to do with TCU putting up the points and numbers last year. Other than the tiredness, what was the biggest thing when you watched the film of last year's game? What's the biggest thing that you you guys have to fix? Um, being ready at the line. When like it, it like we was tired, but just being ready at the line. We weren't ready at the line most of the game. We had a system where we would have to trade ends and trade nose and trade tackles last year. So we had to get calls from sidelines, and they tempo is quick. It's coming quick. 
So if you wasn't prepared for that, like they could they could they could burn you, and that's what they did to us. So so this year we're trying to just simplify our defense, simplify our system, and be able to be ready at the line when it's coming. I know it's a different year, different defense, but can you take away from the shutout you guys had in the first half, and then maybe correct those things in the second half that got them back into the game? We can we can hopefully try to. That's that's what our coaches are working on. That's what we're gonna try to make sure we 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 press and practice with the scouts and everything like that. Is try to take away the things they're good at. It's gonna be hard, but I feel like if we if we do exactly what we do and everybody still is still believing this defense and, and make sure their their gap integrity is high in this game, we're gonna be we're gonna be good. I don't know if you saw it last night, Tennessee's trash can. Do you guys do anything special when you have a turnover on defense? Uh, no, nah, we don't. We don't really do too much of the of the, of the um, trash can or anything like that, or the or the belt or nothing like that. We don't do nothing like that. We just, you know, clap it up and things like that. We don't have no certain object, you know, for to say uh, good turnover or nothing like that. What did you think about your first game and and what you were able to accomplish? I feel like it was pretty good. I mean, I still got things to improve on. Uh, I'm. I, I feel like I was good for the most part, in my and holding on to my gap and making the plays that I was required to make. So I feel like it's just something to build off of.